Hello everyone, this is Lisa, KJ6GHN, and today I'm going to show you how to get a paper copy of your ham ticket. As we all know, recently the FCC has stopped sending them out when you take your license. So here we go. First off, you're going to go up here to wireless to FCC.com, and I'll put this in the description below. You're going to type in your call sign right here. Click search. And it'll bring up your information. So next, click on there. What you're going to need is your FRN license number. So copy that. And then click on this ULS up at the top here, ULS. And it will take you to the login registration screen. All right, so you want an online filing. So click here. Put your FRN number pasted in there. Now, if you don't already have a password, what you'll do is, uh, let's see, forgot password, contact the, their tech support. You'll get a screen that'll come up and you'll fill in some information and then in two to three business days, you know, because the government doesn't work on the weekends, you'll get a link in your email to tell you how to get to set your password up. So let's do this and it is case sensitive and you do have to use capitals and special characters in your password. So it's looking. Mm, nope. All right, if you want to get a paper copy, click here. If you want to get an electronic copy, click there. All right, next, you're going to go highlight that, do a select all, same thing, add it. You can do the same thing. And then down here, you're going to click the download. And you might have Windows 8 or 10. You have to click the pop-up blocker. All right, so after clicking download and getting rid of your pop-up blocker, it comes out in a PDF. And it's loading. And here's the important thing. It says this is an official copy, which you'll need this to take any upgrades or tests. Or if you're going overseas to a remote location and you need to do a reciprocal, you'll need this license. Alrighty, so that is there. There is one other thing I want to show you, and we're just going to click the back license and keep going back there. They have a reference copy here at the top, and let me just show you that. It, it looks like the same thing, but it only says reference copy, but please be careful. It says this is not an official license copy. So it's for general information. I don't think you'll be able to use it if you go to upgrade to a VE. If there's any VEs out there who would accept this or has a different opinion, please let me know. But that's as simple as it is to download your new licenses off the FCC site. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. KJ. 6GHN73